Well, good morning. Mazzy here. Day four of the uh, Road to Frisco blog, and I am well aware that Herb Kane, who was a columnist for the Chronicle, and everyone else, always says don't call it Frisco, especially don't call it San Fran, but I'm one that thinks if you're a native, you can uh, call it Frisco once in a while. It's, it's such a, I mean, I'm not a fan of the name Frisco, but it, it kind of rolls off the tongue when you're doing these blogs and headlines instead of spelling out San Francisco. I'm going to the depot at the end of Mill Valley, and I lived up on Mount Tam for one year in 1978, 79, with my girlfriend at the time. And we used to go down to the depot occasionally. Obviously, over the years, it's been changed. Uh, I guess during the pandemic or right after, it was totally gutted and rechanged. It's actually really nice. Yeah, trendy, but a beautiful space for food, apparently. It's Revolution number nine uh, from the Beatles' Wide Album. That actually was on late last night when I came back uh, from dinner in San Francisco. And so I let it. I think I was crossing Golden Gate Bridge when Revolution number nine. Now, some people say, oh, that's one of those songs they should take off the White Album. But in 1968, John Lennon and Yoko Ono, their conceptualism, obviously McCartney and even Harrison talk about Stockhausen and John Cage and the conceptualism. And I think it's a very fitting, almost final track. And then it goes into that beautiful uh, Ringo uh, singing Good Night, written by John Lennon, by the way. I like that. It's a perfect ending to that mumble jumble of a of a flawed masterpiece the white album swb 101 i always remembered that's the american catalog number my record store days for some reason we used to memorize catalog numbers <laughs> ordering records so swb 101 and we're starting our day and it's again it's a chilly 46 degrees but it is crystal clear. We have our photo agent lunch today. That's the primary reason I came down to the Bay Area. I think it's either our 24th or 25th annual Christmas season, holiday season. We go to a different uh, San Francisco Bay Area restaurant to have lunch. Uh, and it's been great. I think obviously, we skipped the two years. We had a Zoom one uh, for th throughout the pandemic. So I'm looking forward to seeing my friends and my Friendly competition, I guess uh, you'd call them. That's happening uh, today at Cavallo, po Cavallo Point, which is technically Sausalito. Let's get on with it. So, as I drove, I heard Silks and Satins from the Atomic Basie, Count Basie, that's that cover with that ominous detonation of nuclear uh, bomb explosion. <laughs> Not a really uplifting cover, but a great friggin' record. Also, Death and Glory from The Clash, that uh, is from London Calling, right? I believe that's London Calling. And then there was Visions of Johanna from uh, the live bootleg series. I believe it's a 66 live series that is at the Royal Albert Hall, but is not from the Royal Albert Hall, if you get my drift there. Shining just like gold, but don't you hear me cry? 
you know, this reminds me of sort of the, the, these lights coming from the sky from the Mount, from Mount Tamalpais, almost like the, the lights of the baby Jesus. And actually, I was listening for uh, some parts around this time every year. I listen to Jesus Christ Superstar all the way through. I listened to a few tracks from it. I haven't listened to it all the way through on the way back. I will. But I like the original 1970 uh, cast recording. It wasn't a cast because it wasn't a Broadway play or any kind of musical. It was just a record that Andrew Lloyd Webber and uh, Tim Rice did. And it became successful about literally a year later. I bought that original cover in the brown box. Ian Gillum is uh, from Deep Purple as uh, Jesus. And what a great record. That I, I just love it. I learned that story. I, I play at Christmas time, even though I know I'm wrong. It's an Easter record. So sue me. But I still love playing it anyway. Working through death's pain. Last night I swear I felt your touch Gentle and warm The hair stood on my arm How? 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 Oh, show me the way, show me the way, show me the way to shake a memory Show me the way, show me the way, show me the way To shake a memory I flipped my forelock, I twitched my withers I reared and bumped I could not put my rider aground All these fine memories are fucking me down I dreamed it was a dream that you were gone I woke up feeling so ripped by reality Yeah, love is the king of the beasts And when it gets hungry it must kill to eat Yeah, love is the king of the beasts A lion walking down city streets I fell back asleep sometime later on and I dreamed the perfect song it held all the answers like hands laid on I woke halfway and scribbled it down morning what I wrote I read it was hard to read at first but here's what it said I'd mark Clack Shaw Zuboven Del Bar Mertepi Vinciner Kofali Rakdar I'd mark Clack Shaw Zuboven Del Bar Mertepi Vinciner Kofali Rakdar Oh, show me the way, show me the way, show me the way To shake a memory uh, Show me the way, show me the way, show me the way To shake a memory so I'm down here uh, by the Golden Gate Bridge. We're having our agent lunch here at Cavello Point here. And just what a gorgeous, gorgeous location this is. So uh, thanks for uh, joining me on this ride and I'll see you on the other side. On the flip side, turn the record over now. The 24th or 25th annual agent lunch, right? Yeah, I Quincy? So. God, I've known you 20, I've known you 30 time. years? Not 28 yeah, I've been years? I've with Marianne since 93. So, so I've known you since 93. Yeah. yeah. And we're so beautiful Cavello Point. Look at this place. It's beautiful. It's There's gorgeous. a Golden Gate Bridge over there. Beautiful day. God. We, we missed the last two years. I know. We did. We did virtually. We did. But this is it. 
Nice to see you again. Nice to you. see you too. Okay. So this is our 25th annual uh, agent lunch. Photo agents from all around San Francisco, international. We get clients from around the world. We're pitching to you right now. Hire our photographers. Oh but I want to thank Marianne and Lauren and Quincy and Heather for a lovely uh, sort of a uh, it seems like a going away thing. I hate to say that and post it here, but thank you all. Thank we you. Love all. you, Norman. You know, this reminds me of sort of the, the, these lights coming from the sky from the mount from Mount Tamalpais. It's almost like the the lights of the baby Jesus. And actually, I was listening for uh, some parts around this time every year. I listened to Jesus Christ Superstar all the way through. I listened to a few tracks from it. I haven't listened to it all the way through. On the way back, I will. But I like the original 1970 uh, cast recording. It wasn't a cast because it wasn't a Broadway play or any kind of musical. It was just a record that Andrew Lloyd Webber and uh, Tim Rice did. And it became successful about literally a year later. I bought that original cover in the brown box. Ian Gillum is uh, from Deep Purple as uh, Jesus. And what a great record. That I, I just love it. I learned that story. I, I play at Christmas time, even though I know I'm wrong. It's an Easter record. So sue me. But I still love playing it anyway. Okay, so that's it. It's a wrap, right? This is a wrap. Oh, I can kind of see that. You can see the bridge back there. Okay. <laughs>